It's good therapy. It is fun. Yeah, I see you got a lot of cool guests. Yeah, man. They're all saying yes. Like, I'm asking, you know, you have to ask for consent and all that. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, wow, this is easy. It is. A lot of people are. I saw, let me see who you posted. Who else you got here? You got, I saw, I saw a flyer with everybody. Oh, yeah. You, oh, okay. You got Ian Edwards tomorrow? Yes. Love you, Ian. You got Johnny and Adam today. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You know, um, Annie Lederman and Ian Edwards had a podcast where they invited people on who had problems. So I called in and they had me dying laughing over my problems. <laughs> I'm sure there's no, I, I'm sure you're, you're not the only one with problems. They probably have more than you do sometimes. <laughs> so Vinny Fastline, you're from LA, but originally you're from Pennsylvania. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm from Ohio. And uh, I moved to Pittsburgh when I was in high school, and I moved here almost eight years ago. So. When did you find out you're funny? What's that? When did you find out you're funny? Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I used to think I was funny. Um, I guess I still do. I don't know. <laughs> yes. I, when I was a kid, I used to do impressions of, like, people I loved, like Jim Carrey and Steve Irwin. Oh my god. So uh, I always used to love doing impressions and characters and stuff. And my, my parent, my mom, my parents were super supportive, so they always like made me feel fun, you know. So That's so think. cool. How many impressions can you do? Uh, I used to be able to do a lot, but now I'm like now I, I haven't kept up on them, but I used I used to do a ton of them. Um, I mean you always you always have the standard what's the secret to, what's the secret you have to doing a good impression i can't do it i can't even do an impression of myself <laughs> Yes. Should a woman comic only do female impressions? No, not at all. They could do they could do a good impression of men or anybody. They could do whatever they want. <laughs> good and funny, do it. You know, I'll do a woman fucking girl, I'll suck her. <laughs> How come is it that every time a man does an impression of a woman, he just sounds gay? <laughs> Now that's funny. Every, guy, every guy's got the, the uh, hey girl, man. I don't know, because everyone sounds dark. All the dudes sound pretty like, uh, voice uh, deep. Their voices are too deep, so we always sound, hey girl. <laughs> what, who is the funniest comedian in all of history, according to the book of Vinnie Fastline? Me too. I, think he's so, I just think he grew so much as of right now. He's just so organic now and I'm different. And he just changed. You know, he did a lot of once you find your, your uh, voice and your once you find your voice for your stage, a lot of them hone in hone into that, you know? Yes. Jerry Seinfeld has been Jerry Seinfeld for so many years, you know? Yes. And I like to see comedians try to alter and change because once you get your voice it's easy to do comedy. Yeah. Have you noticed that Jerry Seinfeld and Julia Roberts have been nicer since they got married? Really? Yeah. Maybe, maybe because they're only happy when they're, when they're apart. You know? <laughs> they should have gotten married to each other. <laughs> 
Yeah, Julia Roberts used to have quite the reputation of not being nice. And Jerry Seinfeld, I think his comedy, his wife has uh, gotten in there and made him, he even admits she's made him a, more in the moment, more, you know, I think he's brought more to the stage after being with that new wife. Yeah. Kind of, kind of, kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of, yeah, I would say it grounds you more. Because you're not such a free bird anymore. You kind of have a little bit of a restriction. You, so you become a little bit more level-headed. Yeah. I don't, have you been married before? I was. I was married for seven years. I found it was bad luck. So, uh <laughs> <laughs> it was either homicide, suicide, or divorce, so I think I picked the right one. I thought about the others. <laughs> I don't want another Carol basket on her hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um so like what's it like being adorable, young, likable, funny, and having the girls throw their panties on the stage at you. <laughs> <laughs> they must they must be crawling out of the woodwork for you, Vinny. That's a nice compliment. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, I guess when you do comedy or you're in entertainment, a lot of people see you in a better light, you know? Yeah. But it's not, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's been easier since I've done, you know, done comedy longer, but... Um, Still single. <laughs> so, uh, how many years have you been going up on stage regularly? Ten years. Wow. What was your first big, what do you call your first big break? I love it when people go, hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Once I, once I felt like I got into, it all starts, I got into, started working with the, at the Pittsburgh Improv opening for comedians. My first comedian I opened for for a full weekend was Sebastian Maniscalco. What? Three. What? And I, and I felt like that once I started opening for guys there, that was a notch. And then I moved out here and I got into the Hollywood Improv. And, you know, that felt like a notch. And then I started touring with my buddy Drew Lynch. And I started touring with Dane Cook. And I started touring with other guys, you know, and then I started getting, you know, you just kind of, there's little notches, you know, so yes. I don't think anything was a specific break as of yet, you know, but I feel like all of them have something to do with it. Yes. So in, with that regard, um, what, what in your whole comedy career are you most proud of accomplishing and why? Whether that's talking and making a, a sick person laugh or bringing a lot of people to a club that was suffering, or what's the thing in your entire career that you're most proud of, Vinny? people and that was insane so that was really that was good for, that felt good for me accomplishing wise but you know sometimes I, I like I, you know I make an impact with people that I think is pretty powerful because I do comedy about I used to have a brain tumor when I was a kid so, what so I, I do comedy you know cancer related comedy sometimes and uh, you know there's been people that have reached out to me and are like I really appreciate that I needed it I suffer from this or that I think sometimes, you know, we forget, we realize how much of an impact we can have on people. So, what you, what age were you when you had your brain tumor? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, I was thirteen. Thirteen. I was thirteen, turning fourteen. Like that whole period, I had the brain surgery, and I was kind of bedridden for a while, for months at a time. So yeah, and uh, here I am. It's so cool that you've gotten this far. So have you had any residual? I got hit by a drunk driver in 96. So I have a mild 
dementia due to brain trauma. Oh, wow. But I, I healed myself. That's the good news and the bad. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Man. When you have a when you have a little brain injury, they don't heal you. You have to do it yourself. I I I can also attribute some of that to my dementia. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a little crazy upstairs. I I do I am forgetful. Um, I did have a seizure not too long ago, but I'm pretty. I'm other than that, I'm pretty good. You know, sometimes I suffer from depression. Me too. Uh, from the brain trauma. Yep. I believe it to be so. But other than that, I'm pretty healthy. Yeah. And, uh, do you have full, do you have a uh, fall down type of seizures or do you have the staring partials? I have the staring partials. I have the um, episodes. It's funny you know that. They call them episodes. Me too. Um, I did have one where I did uh, pass out. Um, but yeah, so I have the, where your brain's shut off, uh, your brain's sh yeah, so you you know your eyes are open. You could talk, but you think your brain shut off. Yeah, it used to be if I was in front of a computer for an hour, I would stare for an hour. But it's gotten so much better, you know, because like your your brain finds new pathways or something. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's so interesting. Yeah, this is really uplifting. <laughs> Enjoy my comedy. You're going to love it. <laughs> this is how you get through a pandemic. You think you have problems. <laughs> Listen to ours. If somebody's looking for advice on how to get through a pandemic, you watched the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I ate a whole pizza by myself yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite kind of pizza? Because people want... People don't want to just know your name and decide to go see you. They have to know a little bit about you. And people are going to fall in love with you. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure the pizza is what's going to make it. <laughs> you guys, let me tell you something. I like the cheese pizza. They're like, we love this guy. It makes a good choice. I, I, the pizza in L.A. sucks, am I right? I don't feel like it's not great here. <laughs> I, I go to Joe's Pizza. It's pretty good. Yeah. I I like any dollar pizza I can get. 7-Eleven is now two dollars a slice. That's always good. Yeah, you know, like I'm not picky, but New York has the New York has the best. Yes. No. New York, no, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I like it on any street corner, any place in New York. New York's dollar pizza is better than any pizza here. It's crazy. Thank you. Yeah. Are you from New York? What? No, but I I lived there twice and did comedy. I did twenty five comedy shows in three months in New York with a brain injury. Wow! I left a what? Where are you from originally? Portland, Oregon. Harvey's Comedy Club. Oh, cool! They haven't been as weird since I left. There's a helium club there. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's helium. Helium told me that they didn't care how funny I ever got. Nobody would want to hear my comedy. <laughs> well, prove wrong, yeah. Exactly. Thank you very much. That's the goal. Prove all your haters wrong. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. So now, where, do you, where do you live in Los Angeles? Now I live in Vegas because I came here for a birthday party in October. Do you know Stephen Pearl? who used to travel with uh, Robin and Sam Kinison. I, I know the name, I'm not sure. He had me come out to a birthday party, and uh, I met all the people over at Tropicana, you know, Harry Basil in the crowd. I was like, Portland, Oregon, huh? No, I'm moving. Like, this is, there's older, huh? I know. There's no sin here, Vinny. All the sin is gone. It's the weirdest town. I thought Portland was weird. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, what's all, where's all the sin, man? That's weird. <laughs> I got to rename the city. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to start sinning after you haven't sinned for a month? So are all the casinos closed? 
Yes, and the mayor here is fighting to reopen the city May 1st. Wynn Resorts, that's a big conglomerate, they came out yesterday saying that they're going to reopen and they're going to check your temperature, hopefully not rectally when you walk in. Oh, man. Well, I'm not going then. I want it to be fun when I walk in. <laughs> I want to be checked rectally and then given free butt plugs. <laughs> so, um, do you, has this, this whole shutdown has probably hit you in your pocketbook, right? Oh, yeah. So, are you accepting Cash App, Venmo, all of that? From yeah, people, do, do you want to tell me those, your digits? Oh, so some of your fans can send me some random money? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then it's fast line, F A S L I N E. I'm I'm actually I'm actually having these made. I'm gonna sell these masks so people can buy them. What's it say? You can't see it's backwards in the camera. But my breath smells. Oh my god! I want one. How much are those? I'm gonna sell these. Um, well, I'm probably gonna. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna have to just say donation, minimum donation of ten bucks or whatever, because these are. My mom's been um, hand embroidering them for me. What? That's so cool. She's at home. She's into sewing, so she's been she's been sending me some of these, and I think I'm gonna have them made and try to make some money from them. I think it's pretty funny. I think so. It would be funny to put. Either denim too, so you can wash them. Oh, cool! It would be cool to make those for dogs. So where do I buy one? On VinnieFastline.com? Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out where I think I'm just going to have, you know, I'm going to promote it on my social media and then I'll, 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 uh, I'll uh, um, mail them out to people once they, but I got to get more in. So I'm trying to, I'll probably do that in the next week or so. Tag me when you get that sorted out so that I can promote it and I want to buy one. Oh, you're so nice. You got a pre-order out of me. Thank you for being on here with me, supporting me. Oh, you're the best. Thank That's you. So, nice. so what is the one club you have not been on the stage that after they let you out of your room, you want to you this you want to try to get on it? Is there any certain club in America or the world that you want? Have you entertained the troops, by the way? Yeah, because I see you perfect for that genre. I would have fun doing that. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a military vet. I want to get on any stage. Any? You know, I've, never performed, I've never performed at Hermosa Comedy and Magic. Do you do magic? No. No, but they do comedy there, Comedy and Magic. So I want to, I want to do that, uh, get, get on that stage. Okay. And, uh, that's the only one. I mean, I feel like everywhere else, I, you know... I've gotten on, so, uh... How come, are, are you an actor? You're so handsome. Like, I think you should play young John F. Kennedy Jr. before he had headshots. I mean, a headshot. All right. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, will, I, I am acting. I'm acting now. I'm starting. Well, I had some stuff going. Um, before all this started, I shot a short that might become a TV show, and I shot... Uh, a web series that might become a show, and I, I shot a pilot that was being pitched, and it's, you know, it was more than likely going to be picked up. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm waiting for all this to turn around. Totally. This is crazy. You know, I'm 69 years old. I've never seen anything this messed up in 69 years. Never. You look great. And Thank you. Try to make the best of it. 
you know, try to fill your time with stuff, some sane, productive things. And I think hopefully we all come out of this better. Yes. You know, you know, sometimes we need to be stripped of what we have to appreciate appreciate things. Like, I'm sure people, once, it's going to be a while before that can happen, but simply a hug is like, I know it sounds corny, but it's like, man, I'm an Italian, so I'm like, come here, strength. You know, <laughs> now, I, now, I, now it's just like, you know, I don't know. Now I'm like a samurai, just to stay away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go, but I've thoroughly enjoyed getting to know you a little better. You know I sit in there and watch you on video because I think you're just hysterical all by yourself. You don't even need a, a DJ or a crowd or music or lights. You are hysterical. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. Thank I you. you have me on. Thank you're you. Sweeted. Thank Stay you. Stay safe and healthy, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. I hope a club says, you know, she's pretty good at interviewing. Let's have her do uh, interviews at some Vegas club. That's what I want. That's my goal. You should keep up, keep up the beast, too. Yes, thank you. I interviewed all of the headliners that came through Harvey's in Portland. So what do you, oh, cool. What do you do with all the interviews? What do you do with these? I put them on YouTube on my comedian Linda Marcus Smith YouTube. I got like 91 and like 50 more to upload. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life. That's awesome. I might not ever leave my room again. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Thank you, Vinny. Have a great night. Enjoy. Go make people laugh like you do. Oh, thanks, Linda. Tell your mom hi. I will. Okay, bye, Vinny. Bye. Love you.